Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually have on some makeup and I'm not gonna shoot a makeup video, but I do wanna share with you some, um, basically some finishing powders that I use that I've been liking and that have kind of been in constant rotation in my makeup um, bag and on the counter here in my restroom. So these particular powders are powders that I have kind of gravitated to and I kind of just figure out which ones work best for what season I'm in. So I'll kind of share them along with the kind of season that I'm in and I will share um, why I choose those powders for that season. So right now I'm currently wearing the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and guys this particular powder I am in love this powder is really, really good. It's lightweight. The one thing that I really love about this is that they have a few different shades, more than a few actually, and this one I chose is in the color medium. And these particular shades are a little bit closer to my skin and they are what I set my under eye area with. I wanna kinda change that. I think I'm gonna go back to my NYX. I'm not sure, it's like a NYX banana powder. It's brightening, it sets under the eye. I think I'm gonna order that tonight, we'll see. But I do like a compact powder to kind of press and set under my eyes. In today's video makeup look, I'm wearing this, and this is so good. I want to say this is less than $10. It is really, really effective. I am very combo oily right here in my T-zone, and I've always been combo oily. It only gets worse in the summertime. But as the summers go by, as the summer is going by, I do like to have things that are a little bit more brightening and that kind of a little bit closer to because I'm starting to get really tan and I'm outside a lot more. And so I want the sun. I want the sun to um, bake me in all the right areas, but I also want to make sure I'm wearing a powder that does not give me a lot of flashback in photos and that does not leave a cast on underneath my eyes or right here because Usually I'm putting the powder right here and I'm putting it here on my jawline and I'm using it to um, brighten up my under eye area. So I don't like to, you know, use it too many other places. Um, but this is my current, current favorite that I'm absolutely just loving. And this is so affordable. I actually purchased this in Target. Get your hands on this. I just know that you will love, love, love this. My other powder that I love for the this kind of spring summertime and it's actually just about empty if you notice. I have just a little bit here left. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. Guys, I use a lot of mattifying powders just because these powders keep that oil kind of restricted and it keeps the oil from just kind of bursting out because like I said, I have a combination oily T-zone the rest of my skin is pretty normal and from somebody who had really bad acne I just did not want something that would be too like have too many crystals in it or be too like sparkly so I wear enough sparkle on my eyes let's keep it right there but I just wanted to definitely wear something that would kind of mattify and guys this is in the colors 001 and this is in transparent but this is so affordable. I wanna say this is less than $6. I love this powder. I need to get another one. As you notice, I am at the very end. This lasted me about, about a year. And this will probably, I just got this about a couple months ago, the Elf. So it may last me about maybe another two or three months, maybe three months or so. Well, I'll give it a good six months before I kinda of go out and purchase the next one. So. Now, two of my powders that I use more so in the winter to kind of brighten me up a lot more because I'm matching my skin. In the winter, I tend to go a lot lighter with my skin. If you notice that I'm just, I go a lot lighter. You can tell the difference from my arm and my face. I'm just a lot lighter in the winter time and just getting out there and getting sun. And now we're really kind of experiencing the 80 degree weather here in Houston. So, my favorite kind of winter powder but this powder is strong this powder is like you have to be very gentle and light-handed with this or this will leave 
a kickback of a little tiny bit of flashback. So you have to definitely blend, 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 blend when you're using this powder. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. But I have to say, this is some camera ready, nice powder, guys. If you want to like, if you're taking family photos or you're taking individual photos, wear this powder. This is like, to me, it's very luxurious. It's very high end, but it's not priced at a high end price. This stuff is so nice. I have been having this now for about a year, right at about a year and about a year and a half maybe. But as you can see where I am with it, it was full. But this is a very nice camera worthy powder. Maybelline has done an amazing job with putting out um, a very quality product, a very affordable product, and they have done a great job with the power in the product. And they are, I use a lot of Maybelline products and I just cannot speak high enough on this powder. It's mineral based formula, helps control the shine. If you have texture on your skin, it helps smooth out that texture. Um, it's a very lightweight, but it is powerful. It is fresh, natural looking, can be used alone or over foundation. Guys, I've never used it alone. I am not, I have, I did not use it today because I am wearing Physicians Formula Foundation, which is one of my top five favorite foundations that was in my 2019 blog post. And um, I usually don't wear my powders by themselves. I don't think it's enough coverage for me. I do have a little bit of acne scarring or a little bit of like, I don't want to say I have a lot of texture on my skin, but I do not. Um, for me, I cannot wear powders where they are just by themselves. Some people can get away with that. Will they have flawless porcelain, porcelain skin? Not I said the spot. So this right here is really good. My next uh, powder that I love to use um, more so in the fall is this Pure Bake Banana Powder. And this is sold in Target and this is by Makeup Obsessions. This is a really nice powder. It is a baking powder. As you can tell, I don't have much of this left. This right here was something I reached for quite a bit. I wore this a lot going back to school. This was my going back to school. This is like my... I'm gonna, cause I put makeup on almost every day unless I'm not feeling well when I go to school. But this was my kind of reaching to go to work, go to school, cause I'm a school teacher. So it was something that I definitely wanted to use and I used it. And so this is very affordable, less than 10 bucks. Um, and I'm sharing these with you because there are powders out there that can give you that flawless look. Um, there are not, um, they're just powders that I feel like people may just look over or they're not very powerful or they're not just popular. And that was the word I'm looking for. They're not very popular. So people just tend to kind of go over them. I know there are many high end products out there that people have loved and adored and they are their holy grail and they go to. I just, I prefer, guys, you have to understand my focus is very different when it comes to makeup. And I have to say this and please leave a comment down below letting me know, you know, what your focus is when it comes to spending your coins on makeup. Well, for me, I am not going to, unless the product has been gifted to me, then I'll share it. If it has not been gifted to me, more than likely, I'm not going to be a big avid buyer of the product because I just don't want to spend that kind of money on makeup. I think $45, $50 for a palette can be a bit much when you are not going to use all of those shadows in its entirety for however long you may have the makeup or before it expires. So my goal for me is that I enjoy the makeup, I buy the makeup, I buy affordable makeup, but I still like to look at my bank account and know that I'm still in a really good place financially and that makeup doesn't drive me. I just, it's just not a huge um, factor in me purchasing makeup. There are things that I'm gonna purchase and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna share because I just think that having a secure financial bank account means more to me than a $50 palette or 
you know, uh, there are things I will splurge on that I feel as though that I like to have because I've worked hard for it. And that may be the same thing for someone else for makeup. But um, even those things that I splurge on, I have to pray about it because if it's not feasible or if it's not going to give me a lot of wear, I just tend to not focus my energy into things that are not going to give me a lot of wear. Now, if it's, you know, something that I really, really want, I've been watching it for a long time, then I will splurge on it. Like, for example, I love really nice eyeglasses because guys, I wear eyeglasses. I'm an eyeglass wearer when I go to school. And sometimes when I really have on makeup, I'll put on my contacts. But the only time I'm really putting on contacts is when I'm shooting my YouTube videos or having a lot of videos in one day. So for me, um, buying a very nice pair of eyeglasses, that means a lot. I'm gonna get my money out of that because I wear eyeglasses every day. They're comfortable. I have to make sure that I'm in a mode where my eyeglasses don't hinder me. But I also want to be sassy with my eyeglasses. So definitely consider, you know, what you're going to get the most wear out of and what's going to be the most powerful bang for your buck. And so makeup, you know, I am going to share what's affordable for you and how you can still keep your coins and still be bomb. So my last powder that I'm going to share is the Collab powder. And this is, sorry for the dirty top, but this powder works hard. This is my mostly like my winter powder. And I purchased this out of Sally Beauty Supply. If you have one in your area, I have it in, it's called Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. And I absolutely love this. It is a brightener to me. Once again, I'm in the winter. So my skin tone is not as brown as I'm getting or as tan. So I tend to lean more towards powders that just brighten me up. So I shared five really great drugstore quality powders that I feel as though will keep your coins and still have you looking pretty amazing. Remember what I said about um, financially being financially free and um, educating yourself in the part that it doesn't always mean that you have to have the most expensive, expensive made item a lot of the times people are very shocked when they give me compliments and they tell, they ask me, what powder are you wearing or what eyeshadows are you wearing? And I tell them, this is such and such, or this is Perfusion, or this is Flower Beauty, or this is CoverGirl, or this is Maybelline. All of those things are within people's reach. And those are things that people can purchase right when they're grocery shopping, or it doesn't have to break the bank. Remember, we want to be uh, financially secure and makeup should not break us. The last thing that I'm going to say about that is that um, we're in a different place right now. We're in a different season of our lives with this quarantine and having the most expensive makeup is just not my priority. And I love sharing. I love giving, you know, you guys new information, but I'm not going to give you something that's going to sink you. And so that's important for me to share as a, as a black woman in the year 2020 is that we cannot continue to um, major in the minors. We have to major in the majors. And that means being more financially secure and understanding where we are in this process. And you guys know what I'm gonna say before I sign off. Don't forget to hit that bell button down below so you get notification of when I upload my next video. Make sure that you subscribe and be a part of this Williams family. Also, um, remember, I'm not going to share what I'm going to upload on those particular days because I want to get more consistency under my belt. And then I can kind of stick to a day because we're going to be going. School is, is out for the rest of the year. So I'm definitely trying to push out more content and always glad to have you guys comment down below. Remember, I love all that commentary. Until my next video, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.